Speaking of things like eggs and milk and stuff, there's important tips here. State Health Department want to remind you to stay healthy this holiday season. And joining us this morning with some tips, food safety and sanitation at Branch Chief Peter Oshiro. Thanks for being here, Peter. Good morning. Peter. Thanks for having me. I just spread out my notes because there are a lot of things to talk about. But first, I mean, really, it's just we, we get to the holiday party. Right. Everybody gets distracted. You put stuff out all over the place. <laughs> and it's hard to remember... Um, you know, when safe becomes not safe. Right, and that's the problem that all of us deal with, especially for home foods, because we're not yeah. experts in cooking. You know, your restaurant has a lot of food safety knowledge, but typically people at home do a lot of mistakes that can make them sick. Mm -hmm. So we just want to put out the word on things that people can do to make sure that they stay healthy throughout the holiday season. Cross contamination is important. That's really important. So the real simple rule is to make sure to keep all your raw foods separate from your cooked stuff. So make sure even when you're doing your ready-to-eat preparation, do all your salads first before you okay. start all your other meats and poultry items. So that's, that's a good way, way to remember, yeah, to strategize with what right. you cook first, and you won't forget. That's, that's a good really way to important. do it. So that even starts at the grocery store. So when you pick okay. up your food items, you know, don't mi mix your poultry, your raw meats with your salads, your ready-to-eat, your lettuce, your cucumbers, things that are you going to use which you're not going to cook later on, it's very important to keep those free from being contaminated Yeah, you from keep organized. Stuff, yeah. Once you get so busy, people tend to forget, right, and then you're throwing is. stuff all over the place. All right, important stuff. Okay, so also when you're mm. cooking uh, food, mm. important, you brought a thermometer here because right. that's, that really it makes a huge difference. Yes, this is one of the simplest ways to keep yourselves healthy is to cook foods to proper temperature. So these thermometers are now very inexpensive. Mm -hmm. For $10, you can get a real good digital thermometer and make sure to just check all the temperatures of your foods that you're cooking especially poultry products, those tend to be more problematic. Yeah. So make sure you're cooking everything to 165, whether it be turkey, chicken, or any other poultry products. An important thing you mentioned that I, I tend to forget about is that when during the holidays, right. people's fridges are packed with stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be the same there in the fridge. Right. That's why it's, you have to be more careful, especially about packing things and cooling things, especially. So if you have a lot of products that you're making, especially your macaroni and potato salads, yeah. it's a really good idea to after you cook and you dice up your potatoes, chill them off separately. Don't slap them all okay. together while it's hot and expect the things to cool in your refrigerator. And sorry, really so hard, real yeah. quick, leftovers, mm -hmm. there's, there's a cutoff maybe. Right. You don't leave things out for more than four hours okay. typically, right? So even while you're prepping food, you shouldn't be taking a long, long time leaving things out. So once you finish cooking or um, portioning things, Put them in um, Ziploc bags, which is squeeze the air out, mm -hmm. and the fastest way is to throw it in ice or just throw it right into your refrigerator at that time. Strategize, a little right. mindful thinking is going to go a long way. It All will. right, thank yeah. you, Peter. Thanks no so much problem. for being here. Important Thanks time a lot. to talk about this.